Hey there, voters. I'm Captain Stacy Hanrahan, and welcome to Monday's episode of The Voters TV. First up, our captain's caption photo was provided by Aero Telvite. We'll reveal the caption of the day at the end of the show. Now in nautical know-how, Southern Boating's Captain Rob Hanrahan is here with tips on stretching your fuel dollars. Hey, Captain Stacy. As you and I both know, the pain at the pump is getting worse each day. If you're a boat owner, that pain is especially excruciating. So this month, Southern Boating contributing editor Chuck Husick shows us how to stop the bleeding in this month's engine room. The easiest way to save money on fuel is to simply just not buy it and not use your boat. But if you love being on the water as much as I do, well, that solution's not going to fly. So the best approach to reduce the amount of money you spend on fuel is to reduce the amount you burn. In other words, we all have to change the way we use our boats. Slow down. Enjoy the view. Ease up on that throttle hand, and I know how tough that can be. It'll significantly cut your burn and slow the money burn in your wallet. Here's another tip from racing sailors. Reduce your boat's drag by choosing a hard surface bottom paint. And don't just slap on a new coat of bottom paint each year. That adds weight. Chuck also says you don't need to idle the engine at the dock to warm it up. The engine will reach its normal and most efficient operating temperature as you idle away from the dock. Plus, let's do some spring cleaning. Toss that old gear and leave the unnecessaries in the dock box. A bloated, overweight boat gulps fuel trying to get up on and stay on plane. Finally, make sure your engine is running smoothly. Chuck will tell you a simple way to check for adequate airflow, which will help you save some money. The bottom line, clean up, clean out, slow down, and enjoy being on the water. There's more of Chuck's tips in the June issue of Southern Boating Magazine. It's on newsstands right now. Or register for our virtual magazine at www.southernboating.com. Captain Stacy, back to you. Thanks, Rob. Our next segment is brought to you by Stable. If you use Marine Formula Stable every time you fill your boat, it helps to fight the damaging effects of ethanol. Marine Formula Stable Ethanol Treatment for everyday optimal performance and protection. Coming up in Wet n Wild, wait until you see this. Well, as the saying goes, I guess I've been living under a rock for the past few years because I had no idea amphibious motor coaches existed. Oh, you didn't know that either? Good, I don't feel so out of touch then. Apparently the company named Cool Amphibious Manufacturers International has been building amphibious vehicles since 1999. One of their vehicles, the Hydra Terra, is used as a tour boat, and I wouldn't be surprised if they built the duck tour boat I used to work on. But let's get back to the Terra Wind, a houseboat and motor coach all in one. All I can say is, I want one. Let's say you're taking a cross country trip and you come upon a lake. No problem, just drive into the water, put the road transmission into neutral, the marine transmission into gear, and cruise across the lake. Its engine is a turbocharged diesel Caterpillar. It's got twin 19-inch props and a three and a half foot draft. Of course, it's not an ocean going vessel, but with the outrigger pontoons, it'll take 40 mile per hour winds and three foot waves. But wait, there's more. It may look top heavy, but its designers say all the weight is in the bottom of the boat. The 43-foot vessel will go seven knots on the water and 85 miles per hour on land. Its interior isn't too shabby either. Marble floors, granite countertops, leather furnishings, and even an eight-jet Whirlpool bathtub. Oh, and the room slide-outs can be used on the water. Like I said, I want one. Unfortunately, the price tag starts at $850,000, but I would be getting two vehicles for the price of one, right? Maybe the Terra Wind isn't cool enough for you, though. Maybe the Hydra Spider is more your speed. Since I don't have time to tell you about it, check out their website at www.camillc.com. And thanks again to Stable for sponsoring that Wet n Wild segment. Next up, let's see what's splashing around in nautical news. They call it the big one. 
The 2800 mile solo race across the North Atlantic is arguably the most sought after of all ocean racing records. It's the Artemis Transat and it's been held every four years since 1960. This year, French sailor Loic Perron smashed two records aboard his 60-foot monohull Gatana 80. Four hours faster than the record, Perron finished the race from the English Channel to Boston Harbor in just 12 days, 11 hours. And with this win, he holds the record for being the only person to have won it three times. 1992 and 96 were his previous wins. The race began on May 11th in Plymouth, and the trip was no easy cruise. Competitors dodged icebergs and battled raging 50-knot storms. Whale and shark collisions were also a major threat. In fact, on day 10, Vincent Rio had to abandon ship when his boat suffered serious keel damage after hitting a shark. Perron actually rerouted his race to rescue Rial and was later awarded time by the international jury for his act of seamanship. Other competitors ran races that were just as exciting. British female racer Sam Davies, for example, sailed without radar from the first night and hit a whale on the 11th day. Yet she managed to finish an impressive fifth. For much more on the Atlantic crossing, go to www.theartemistransat.com. Now it's time to reveal Stacy's TheBoaters.com celebrity profile pick of the day, which is Captains Joe and Sylvia and their 26-foot regal, Liquid Addiction. They love cruising the Thousand Island region in New York. Although Sylvia doesn't dive, Joe's a certified technical diver. Sylvia's got the right idea. Why go below when you've got views like this on deck? Welcome to the boaters and congrats on your sea celebrity status. And finally today, the captain's caption of the day is, according to the manual, there is no motor. Submitted by Sable. <laughs> That'll do it for this episode of The Boaters TV. See you back here on Wednesday.